so this is a site-specific installation and the museum, I and YKK, a uh, company here in Macon, are partnering in this collaboratory project. They, YKK, have generously made all of their surplus materials or any surplus materials that I'm interested in available to me for this. And the way I obtained the materials was um, Susan Welsh, director here at the museum, sent me a lot of samples from YKK that she gathered, sent them out to my home in Iowa. And I started experimenting with them and just looking through all these different zippers and zipper parts and just various materials that are used in the raw materials that are used in the construction of their products or the actual products like the zippers or the hook and loop. And I started experimenting and then deciding which of the, just the huge range of, of you know, things that she sent me, which ones I liked and that I like to work with the best. And I chose four, some plastic parts or a nylon perhaps that are used in the, they become the inner part of the zippers, the teeth. And then some metal shavings, some brass shavings that are um, left over when the metal teeth of the zipper are made and uh, some wire. I really love working with wire. I've done that for years. So I just started experimenting with those materials and I did uh, structures while I was still home before I came here, here to the museum this week. And I had a general idea of what I wanted the installation of the gallery to look like, but the Part of our whole project has been that I'll construct it while I'm here. That there's not an, an, a preset way that these structures will be arranged, that it will come, uh, it'll be created this week while I'm here. So that's what I'm in the process of doing. And um, my work is always inspired by nature and it always relates to nature even though I use man-made materials. And I often refer to the structures that I make as fabric terrains because I'm using fiber processes even though they're again they're plastics or metal so they're not technically fiber it's but I'm using those materials as if it were a yarn or a thread and I'm using techniques that you would use to create a piece of fabric so that's what I've been doing and and I'm creating a, a landscape a, a, a kind of a landscape um, structure from that, uh, in, in that the installation is intended to give a general impression of landscape or as if one were walking into uh, some part of the natural environment but it's not literal, it's not concrete. So every person that experiences this installation will probably have a different, uh, they'll respond to it differently. And for some people it might make them think of mm, raindrops or a waterfall or leaves. I'm, off, I'm really attracted to forests, so a lot of times the imagery I have in my work for me makes me think of forest or um, falling leaves. So there's a lot of different uh, impressions from nature that people may, may um, feel when they experience, when they walk through this, this installation. And my hope is that everyone will see it differently because they're uh, bringing their own experiences of nature into this uh, artistic creation. And so between their experiences and what my experience has been and my creative, um, my creative expression, then something n new is created for every person. I, I used to have a lot of interest in Asian art and especially in Japanese painting and printmaking. And in the last few months I found a book in a 
used bookstore that was about contemporary Japanese painters, and I was really attracted to it, so I bought it, and I read every single word. I read about every single uh, painter that was in that book. And I found the word yugen, and I may not be saying it right, but it is a word that is a description of a, uh, an area of Japanese aesthetics, and it's not, you can't literally translate it into English, as often happens with different languages. But it has to do with a kind of a, a, a deep, profound beauty of nature, or a mystery that's in nature. And so I researched a little bit about that word, and it's used in connection with different artists. And I did not do that from a, uh, in a scholarly way. I did that as an artist, so I, I, I did not necessarily learn exactly uh, precisely what that word means, but nonetheless, it was a source of inspiration to me, just that word and knowing a little about that word. And I thought that really connects with what my work is about, something that's not definable about nature, but yet it's very, very profound, and something that's not a literal representation of nature, but it gives an emotional or a, a kind of a deeper experience of nature. So and then I thought, well, and of course, YKK is a Japanese company. It's YKK USA. Um, so I just thought that that was a nice uh, bit of serendipity about the whole show. And so then I thought, well, I'll title it Yugen, Yugen, A Mysterious Grace. And um, words often, sometimes a word will trigger, uh, trigger a, a, an avenue for my, for my work to go in, just hearing the word or learning a little bit about the word. So there's a... A, a kind of a synergy between the spoken language and and um, the physical act of of creating artwork. Mm -hmm.